The new threat to Earth that the monsters brought after the opening of the dungeon gates could not be underestimated. Fortunately, along with the new threat came people who could stop it. Thanks to the magic sent to our planet, a supernatural power was awakened in some of its inhabitants. These people were called hunters, and their level of strength was determined by the amount of mana they received. Among the tens of thousands of hunters, there appeared those whose power was beyond human imagination. It's over 9,000! These are the 10 strongest. At the 10th spot is Yuri Orlov, a formidable S-rank mage hailing from Russia. Yuri faced a challenge when he took on a gate he was contracted to seal. Despite the overwhelming odds, Yuri's prowess as a hunter was undeniable. Setting aside his substantial ego, he managed to effortlessly subdue two highly ranked hunters from Draw Sword Guild. His skill set involves creating barriers and sealing his opponents. Beyond these abilities, little is known about Yuri's other strengths. His main ability lies in barrier magic. Chayin held the ninth position on our list. She served as the Vice Guild Master of Korea's Hunters Guild, ranking just below Jin Wu and Go Gun Hee in terms of strength. In the Jeju Island raid, the Ant King identified her as the most deadly among the S-ranked Korean hunters in the raiding party, leading to his decision to quickly kill her. Thanks to Jin Wu, she managed to survive. Her skills included mana smell, expertise in swordsmanship, increased strength, speed, and durability, as well as proficiency in sword dance, sword of light, and quake of provocation. Next on the list, we have Goto Ryuji, a strong hunter from Japan who was highly respected as Japan's most powerful hunter, and just his presence was enough to make formidable Korean S-rank hunters uneasy. Goto Ryuji was the leader of the Draw Sword Guild and played a vital role in the Jeju Island Raid. Goto Ryuji was among the select few hunters who could keep up with the incredible speed of the Ant King. This ant had nearly decapitated Chayin, highlighting its formidable strength. Ryuji's ability to stand his ground against the Ant King, even if briefly, solidified his position as one of the strongest hunters. His abilities included enhanced strength and speed. In the seventh spot, we find Leonard Niermann, a German hunter who was the guildmaster of the Richter Guild. Leonard was officially known as the 12th strongest hunter globally. Even though we only saw him fight once during the Monarch's War arc, he showed his skills by creating powerful blasts with a pair of gauntlets. Leonard Nierman had super sharp senses, sharper than most other hunters. During the Guild Conference arc, Leonard noticed Sun Jin Wu's shadows, something that most hunters usually miss. Leonard Nierman was also portrayed as a smart and intelligent person. Unlike many other hunters who foolishly picked fights with Sun Jin Wu, he chose to be on the protagonist's good side, a wise and practical decision. His abilities included charge, enhanced strength, and high-level perception. Now, let us specially mention a hidden hunter named Jonas. Even though he is only mentioned in the news, he remains one of the most powerful hunters in the series. He officially held the sixth rank among the world's national-level hunters. As Brazil's strongest hunter, he was supposed to attend the International Guild Conference, but sadly, he was killed by the Monarchs before the meeting. Based on this, it's highly likely that Jonas was a ruler's vessel whom the Monarch decided to eliminate. Same as Jonas, Siddharth was only mentioned in the series. He is the strongest hunter in India and one of the top national-level hunters globally, holding the fourth position. Being both a ruler's vessel and a national-level hunter made Siddharth one of the strongest hunters worldwide. However, we didn't know the exact extent of his strength. As national-level hunters and ruler's vessels, they should have spiritual body manifestation. Next on the official list is Gogun Hee in the sixth spot. In his prime, he was the strongest S-rank hunter in Korea, surpassing most others in this category. Despite his old age, he emitted a formidable presence that could intimidate even the toughest hunters. Before the monarchs ended his life, Gogun Hee unveiled his true strength as the vessel of the Fragment of Luminosity. Simply put, he possessed the ruler's authority. He was one of the hunters with the ruler's authority who was not named as a national-level hunter. This alone elevated the elderly hunter above most others in the series. His abilities included immense strength, incredible speed, ruler's authority, and spiritual body manifestation. 
In the fifth position, we have Christopher Reed. He received a warning about his upcoming demise and was later killed by the monarchs. He could hold his own in a tough fight against almost any hunter, except for Thomas and Sun Jin Wu. Christopher was known as the third strongest hunter in the series. Similar to Gogun He, Christopher was a vessel for a ruler. He had the rare ability of spiritual body manifestation, which he used in an unsuccessful attempt to defeat the monarch of the Iron Body. In the battle, he transformed into a one-eyed giant with flaming light orange hair. The flames produced by this ability were so powerful that it took 14 S-rank hunters to put them out. Christopher's abilities included immense strength, ruler's authority, and spiritual body manifestation. Securing the fourth position is Liu, a seven-star hunter from China whose strength is on par with an S-rank hunter according to Korea's standards. He holds the prestigious title of the Hero of China. Before Sun Ji Wu became overpowered, Liu held the position of the strongest hunter in Asia. Liu's notable achievement includes effortlessly eradicating a large number of monster ants on Jeju Island. It's highly likely that he could have successfully confronted and defeated Beru if they crossed paths. His remarkable abilities were energy blast, immense strength, immense speed, ruler's authority, and spiritual body manifestation. Next is a huge lump of muscle taking third place. Thomas Andre officially held the title of the strongest hunter in the solo leveling world. He was the guild master of the scavenger guild and was one of the national level hunters. People liked to call him the Goliath because of his huge and imposing build. The only hunter we know of who could match or even beat him in pure physical strength was Sun Jin Wu. Jin Wu managed to defeat Thomas, but it's worth noting that he had to use spiritual body manifestation to stand up against the beast monarch. His abilities included immense strength, immense speed, high level durability, spiritual body transformation, ruler's authority, and physical reinforcement. In the second position, we have Papa Sung. Sung Il Huan, who is Jin Wu's father, got stuck in an S rank dungeon for 10 years. During that time, he gained most of his powers. When he managed to escape from the dungeon, he easily defeated an S rank hunter who had threatened his family. Papa Sung used to be an S rank hunter himself. Additionally, he could take on the Ice Monarch and Beast Monarch all by himself. Being a vessel for a ruler, Il Huan can do things like spiritual body manifestation and many other powerful abilities. His abilities include stealth, immense strength, immense speed, high durability, ruler's authority, and spiritual body transformation. At the top spot was Sun Jin Wu, the super powerful main character of solo leveling. Even though the series doesn't officially recognize him as the strongest hunter, Jin Wu far surpasses all other hunters and even the monarchs in terms of power and abilities. With his mighty shadow army, he managed to defeat all the monarchs for the second time after the rulers allowed it. Being a necromancer, Sun Jin Wu could turn anyone he defeated into his shadow soldiers, excluding monarchs. Along with several other special abilities inherited from the shadow monarch, Jin Wu is undoubtedly the strongest character and hunter in solo leveling. His abilities included Colossal Strength, Immense Speed, Shadow Extraction, Shadow Exchange, Immense Durability, Monarch's Domain, Detoxification, Astralization, A-Causality, and too many to mention. 